we just watched Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is the full title. What did you think overall? I liked it. You liked it? I liked it. A lot of action. Um, I liked it too. I really liked it. This was definitely a more action-packed movie or it has a type of action that made me pay more attention compared to the last movie we saw, Indiana Jones, which... I'd say this movie does a lot of things better than Indiana Jones, the f a previous movie tried to do, but couldn't keep at least us entertained enough. This movie is almost three hours long. It's three hours, but it didn't feel like three hours. Correct, which that's why, you know, it, it was well done. You know, they, they placed every action and every sequence correctly. Every action sequence is well done and well shot and it has a purpose right and that's what i loved you know because yeah. it's not a boring uh movie you know no at all you really want to stay and watch it you just don't want to leave the theater yeah you know it's action-packed yes the beginning is very interesting because you know you know usually the movie starts low this movie i was, mean the beginning was just setting up the intrigue with like the main MacGuffin or like thing of the movie nice like these keys so you could understand it yeah and even then it kind of sets up both the keys and but also kind of like the big antagonist which is like this AI called the entity and that's like setting it up and even then it starts action pack the movie starts action with action and it, it doesn't really stop no at all and then I like it that it goes a lot into that artificial intelligence. Like the antagonist, it's really an entity. Mm -hmm. Well, you see a lot of people that are gonna play because you need to see people like in roles, but yeah. that entity is like an artificial intelligence. And that, uh, they, they say it like gains sentience and it like, re like an algorithm, it like reads people and, and knows any outcome and stuff, which is very, and because it's like an AI, it does, it's not like a physical form you can like take down easily. And they do use it because there are points in the movie where like when he become when the entity becomes aware of Tom Cruise's character and like his friends and what they're trying to do. There's like a scene where like it hacks into like one of his friends' comms or it makes him like lose internet and like hacks into the comms, making it think it's one of his friends talking to him. Right. During the action scene. Oh, like, yes, that part that yeah. he's trying to find the girl. That the girl runs away and he's trying to find her. Yeah, the one that's the thief, uh, the Haley Atwell's character. Right. You know, what I like, it's like, I, I'm not good with names, but what I like is like the sequence, how they play the sequence so you don't get lost, you know? Yeah. It's well explained. I don't really know how long it took to make this movie. Well, I mean, Tom Cruise is like one of those practical actors, so and you know they always say like how all he does all his own stunts. Yes. Well, there was a lot of stunts in them. Yes. So. So let me tell you, he's in shape. <laughs> yeah, he has to be. He has to be. There's like one scene where he jumps off a motorcycle, like from a cliff, to get on a train. You think he does all that? I think he does. Wow. There are like videos of like him just hanging from like air. So I think like he does those gen like real. I liked it, you know. Because the movie basically is about a key and an entity which is artificial intelligence that could read people and mm -hmm. see all the outcomes. How would they uh, react to any situation and prevent or, or, or see what's going to be happening. So this key controls the mastermind, that entity, right? Yeah. And the search is for the keys so the, they could get to that com little bolt where the mine is at, which we'll talk about it later on. And the movie is how Ethan gets uh, the mission to find it. Yes. But at the same token, almost every country and everybody is after. Yeah. But then the, the, the 
Messiah is that an enemy from Ethan's beginnings called Angel comes back in this uh, what no that's something that is Gabriel oh I'm sorry yes I apologize it's Gabriel what is mystical Gabriel, Gabriel his whole thing is like I think he killed like his wife or girlfriend or something at the beginning at the in his past mm -hmm. and he was like framed for it or something but like Gabriel's whole thing is that he seemed near the end of the movie hey, this is like a kind of spoiler but I mean it's not really explained but uh in in the near the end when he's on the train you see him like in this like suitcase sort of thing and he has like this thing over his face like a mask and I don't know if that was like the entity communicating with him I don't know what's up with that you remember I think it was oxygen because he was brought into the train in that coffin Oh, okay. So, you it's know, at the fun. beginning, right, at the beginning, I didn't know, but okay. then I'm, I'm thinking now that it's like oxygen, so he could breathe while he was in the coffin. Yeah, remember, being snuck on the train. Right, because okay. he, he was, he's being um, wanted in different countries. So he, they got to get him into the train, and that's how they do it, in a coffin, and then, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, even though he wasn't in a movie much, he was very intimidating. and Character. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And um, and he just keeps and he like the way he fights is interesting. Like he fights like with knives and stuff, which was well, that was which, funny. He never it was kind. Up. It was kind of funny because there was one point where him and Tom Cruise are fighting on top of a train, and he just keeps like pulling out knives and like he uses them to like climb back up the train roof and stuff. And yeah, and the more he loses, the more knives. I, I, I had a comment like, oh my god, how many knives did he? He keeps just popping up knives. But then, like, you think he won because you think he took the key. But then it turns out um, Ethan Hunt switched him out. He did take the key. Like, kind of pickpocketed him. Switched the key out for, like, his lighter. So that's going to be, like, a thing that probably comes back in, like, the second part. Him being pissed off about that. Right. Because remember, this movie has two parts. Yes. So this is part one. I don't even know if they're filming part two. I'm, I'm guessing yes. So, probably guess. soon. I don't know. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do a follow up on that but um, you know the some, movie goes well you know you, you could see it goes it. by well yeah the, some positive I really liked uh, I mean say what how you feel about Tom Cruise as a person I feel like he did really well in this movie and know, also his dedication like this was from his production studio I think he, he seems to like the Mission Impossible franchise he's dedicated to it he does his own stunts, you know. So I think he, he his acting was good, great. Yeah. I've always liked him as an actor. You can I understand there's a lot of controversial with him because yeah. of his religion or Scientology. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to go into that, but as an actor, he did very good. He did know? very good in this movie. He yeah. knows how to be serious. He does action well. He knows how to be comical. Like, I like. I've always I liked him as an actor, and in this movie particularly I've seen all the Mission Impossibles let me tell you and I you, I love the first one he did very much but this one I really liked I, I liked it because it's very well done mm -hmm. you know I can't say that you know it's not boring mm -hmm. there's a lot of action the sequence which is what I love because sometimes I go to the movies and I say, oh my God, I'm kind of lost or, you know, bored. Yeah. But I wasn't bored and I love the sequence they follow. Yes. In each character, how things happen. And it's not a boring happening, you know? It's like yeah. they go from one scene to the other, but it's not boring, you know? Yes. Very good. Yeah. Um, I liked his two friends, uh, the one, Simon Pegg and the other one, I don't, I don't know. But his two friends were like hackers and help him. They're pretty fun. Benji. Yeah, Benji. Benji, Simon, Peg. Right. The one who stays with him at the end, cause the other one has to like leave, cause of the hiding or something. Exactly. I also we lose one of the characters in this movie. What's the girl's name? Uh, she's played by Rebecca Ferguson, but yeah. I think it was Alyssa. Alyssa. Elsa. 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 Is it Elsa? Yeah, I think that's her name. Uh, which is weird. They, they kind of foreshadow it because at the beginning you think she died, but then it turns out she was just faking it. Mm -hmm. But not. But then later on she does actually die. So that's yes. kind of like a 
And then they bringing in to the franchise a new actress. A new actress to kind of be the new, a new, another, a new female member of the team. Right. So who is uh, Haley Atwell's character? Right. Um, I'm gonna have Grace. 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 Her name is, is her Grace. Name. What did you think of her? I like her. She's very pretty. You? Yeah, she's I, pretty. I don't know. I don't remember any movie I've seen with her, but I like her. She's a good actress. What did you think of her character in this movie, though? It's. It's nice how it started because she really picked pockets, you know. Really, yeah, because she, she had a criminal background. Right, too. she was a thief. She had all the ingredients to be a Mission Impossible member. <laughs> yeah, you know. I feel like she. I feel like she's a more tolerable, likable version of the character they tried to make Phoebe Waller Bridges in Indiana Jones. Right. Because they are kind of similar. Like they're both these British actresses, brunette. They both were written for these characters that have like this thieving background. But I feel like the way they did Hayley Atwell's character Grace in this movie was like she was more well written and more likable. Also, this as was a, a character. better movie. Yeah, this was also just a better movie than To yeah. be fair to the actresses, this was a better This was just a better better written movie. Yeah, yeah. better better character, you know, overall written, acting. You yeah. Know, also, know. can I just say, there's like a car, there's like a three-way car chase scene in this movie, which is oh, yes. also like from Indiana Jones. But I'm like, this is how you do this car chase scene well, in, in Mission Impossible, because they did that, that same kind of car chase, but it, this one was way more done, way way better, and you're more invested in it, and they do more interesting shots and ways that the cars hit things and like, yeah, when they have to switch vehicles, like this was done way better in this movie. One hundred percent. I liked it. I, I liked how they basically did all the actions. Yeah. What about the train at the end? Oh, the, the tra train. The part where like the train cars keep breaking off from each yeah. other and they have to keep like switching like gets. Yeah. That was also a cool scene. Like I was like in each scene that there was action. I was like, oh my god, what's going on, right? Yeah. It was good. It was like okay. And um, and I, and then uh, should we go like towards the end, like when she, we think she's gonna go, but then she asks to be a member of Mission Impossible. Or no? Um, I don't know. I don't feel. I don't really have a lot to say about that. Oh, okay. Do you? No, but I just want to do a per, a, a, per, a quick uh, shout out to. I don't know how to say the actress's name, but the one who played the uh, the the uh, the kind of like personal. Sp like assassin to like Gabriel that character her oh yes Very she's probably like even though she wasn't in the movie much every time she had like a fight scene she was like really cool she's probably like my personal favorite character from this movie I now. forgot her name in the movie um, they said her name was Paris right Paris yes very good and I and at the end when she you know she seems to have been dying because she was stabbed by by Gabriel but then she betrays him and helps Ethan. Uh, Ethan and Grace when they're about to fall out of one of the train cars but then she like is slowly bleeding to death but they hint at me that she might be okay because another person checks on her and they say they have a pulse so, so yeah that, that was Maybe kind of she might. open to see you know I think they left it that way because they don't know they could always bring that character back I hope that character comes back I actually I liked her yeah I like it was a she's nice character and I like, now that you mention it cool. she's good it's and the good. way she looked at like that party like the face paint like this cost oh yeah she, that looked cool yeah. and also the fight scene with her and Ethan Hunt in like the this alleyway that was a good fight yeah and also like he spares her from that's why the other one Gabriel thinks he could betray her because Ethan spares her life yeah right um let's talk about how this ended compared to like this is kind of like a discussion I want to bring up real quick. Okay. But cool. uh, the way this kind this movie, I want to compare the way this movie ended with like the kind of open endedness to like this other the other movie we saw that kind of has a cliffhanger, which is Across the Spider Verse. Which, what I'm about to say, don't get me wrong, I still love that movie, but I feel like with this movie, it makes me think that. Well, Across the Spider-Verse seems to rely on the fact that it's going to have another movie to answer all the questions. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, while it does have another part that it can fill in holes, it doesn't 
it still fills in its own plot, its own story holes in this movie. It's in itself. Yes. And it leaves like a little bit open ending, but you don't really need to see another movie for it. That's what I love. Because you know. Because most Mission Impossible movies can end like that, but then the next one could just be another adventure. Like, oh, you know Ethan Hunt's just gonna do it off screen. Like, right. But for Across the Spider Verse, it's like, oh, you're kind of. I mean, I'm enjoying the movie, but you're kind of relying on the fact that you're gonna have a follow up to tell the rest of the story. And we don't really know. Yeah, you're not really. But in this one, you could say, okay, I know the ending. You could watch this one by itself, and you don't really need the second part of it. Like, you don't really need it to be, like, a two-parter, hypothetically. Right. It, it does answer its own questions. Which I loved. Because yeah. we knew there was going to be a second, but, like, I would like to see it. Yeah, but if I promoted, don't, it's fine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, promoted part one. You know it's going to be part two. But, like, this could be, hypothetically, a standalone. Like, if you can't catch the other one, and you know. Exactly. And that's something I really enjoyed. What about you? I, I I like that too. I appreciate that. Me too, because I don't like those cliffhangers that okay, well you know, you invested two or three hours, and then oh okay, now I don't know. I you really have to see, and then if they spend years making it, you're like what? You might forget or whatever, but you're not invested in it. Mm -hmm. This one, you know, and it could be alone. Yeah, you know what happened. Like it's not like across the Spider Verse. Where I still, again, I still really, really like that movie. But it feels like it's just one big setup for the third one. Like, it didn't really feel like its own movie. And there was a lot of own questions. Yeah, which is one of the big problems I realized that movie has that I didn't at the time. But, like, it feels more like it's a setup to another movie we're not going to see for a while. Like, it didn't feel like it tried to be its own thing while also hinting at something in the future. Right. On this one, This one, one no. didn't have that problem. It... It is hinting at something, but it's still doing it, but it still has its own story going on. And it didn't, and you don't really need a hypothetical follow up, you know? Correct. And that's something I really uh, appreciate, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, yeah. I, I recommend people to see it if they can in the theater. It's a nice movie yeah. to watch in the theater, in the big screen. There's a lot of action. Yes. I think they would enjoy it. Yeah. Um, is that it? Or do you have anything else you want? No, I think that's basically it. Okay, well, I guess now it's our time to rate it. Do you want to go first or should I go? You go. Okay. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Pretty high. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Okay. I'm going to go. I was going to give it an 8, but I'm going to go with a 9 because I really enjoyed it. It's truth. an enjoyable movie, and yes. I usually don't like action movies, but this one is like very good. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine too. Okay, so we're both nine out of nine. ten. Yes, agree. Um, good movie. A lot of action. A lot of action. You won't get bored. You enjoyed it. You yeah, won't get. I mean, unless you find like scenes between people talking boring, because there are moments with that. But like, it kind of it does further the plot. So like, you can't really complaint or get rid of it it's just more of a nitpick right but uh yeah we're both nine out of nine out of ten uh good movie great movie had fun yes uh if you've seen mission impossible this this newest mission impossible what were your thoughts comment down below on on what you thought of the movie like comment subscribe and this has been just some fangirl and we are out and it just keeps going. Yes. They also didn't overplay that theme. Right, they Wait, didn't. They didn't. It only played when he did cool things, which is what I complained about with Indiana Jones. Yeah, so I liked it. You don't overplay the main theme. You do it when it's needed. 